Welcome to the UK Made Easy podcast where we help aspiring international medical graduates like yourself achieve their dreams of passing their PLAP2 and practicing medicine in the UK. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the UK Made Easy podcast. If you are new here, my name is Seif and in this episode I'm delivering a quick update about what the UK Made Easy has been up to since I haven't made any recordings recently. So to start off, I'm very excited to announce that I'm entering a new phase of my life where I've had my engagement party a few days ago and I couldn't be any more grateful for meeting my match. I also would like to take this opportunity to extend thank yous to all of you who know me a little too well and managed to get in touch to congratulate me. I always say that making virtual friends is one of the very nice perks of making the UK Made Easy podcast and reaching out to thousands of people. As a matter of fact, we've just broken the milestone of six thousand downloads and listens in less than two months we have listeners from every continent up to south america which is something that i never thought would have happened when i decided to start the podcast Speaking of updates, let me tell you about what we've been up to at the UKME. So we've received a few comments about the online recorded sessions that are accessible to the UK Made Easy members uh, when they subscribe to our online PLAP2 preparation course. And basically, these are high yield Zoom recorded sessions detailing the approach to different OSCE scenarios infused with examples of common scenarios and ways of boosting your interpersonal skills. Now, if you're new to PLAP2, check out what our candidates who have cleared the exam say about our service. Simply join our Telegram group or better yet, listen to one of my chats with successful candidates. Links to these episodes are provided in the description down below. So anyways, back to the feedback we received about the recordings, which was that as helpful as they were, but they were very lengthy, which couldn't really help with the attention spam. And that's exactly what I've been working on the last few weeks, creating short, high yield videos to substitute the longer, boring sessions. I've also taken the liberty of color coding the episodes to help you organize your study schedule, which tackles another feedback from candidates who were not sure exactly how to organize their study schedule. Just to quick you, uh, to give you a quick overview, so I've had all the breaking bad news common scenarios coded in one color so that you know that these scenarios are commonly related in terms of their approach. Another thing is handling an angry patient, for example, and we have common scenarios known for PLAP2 examination for handling an angry patient. Those are grouped with a different color to let you know that these stations are kind of related to each other. So anyways, I'll be posting a quick uh, video over Facebook over the few coming days uh, to show you an example of what the current service is in terms of the member only section and what I intended to be starting from the beginning of the year. Now I'm keeping my nose down to grindstone to bring about these new enhanced experience to our candidates by the beginning of the year will implement starting with the medical ethics section which is the part i tutor throughout the course then we will rule out for the rest of the scenarios now speaking of new year Keep an eye on our Facebook page for we will be announcing a new saver pack offer this festive season. And I can tell you that this is an offer that you don't want to miss. Another thing that I wanted to quickly touch upon is that it has been brought up to my attention that some of the doctors who recently passed the exam are offering free mocks to candidates. While the word free might sound luring for many, but I want you to exercise some caution with those mocks because a very curious case is that a doctor who made a mock with us one week before his exam, his performance was mediocre to say the least, is now claiming to be an expert. 
While I don't really care to pinpoint this particular doctor, nor am I having any discussions about morality, but I think a word of caution might serve those who listen. That's everything I wanted to update you with for now. If you would like to receive updates for our okay, Made Easy podcast episodes, subscribe to the YouTube channel for this is the main portal that I'll be uploading to uh, from now on and activate the notifications by clicking the bell sign below. And I hope to see you on board with our new plap2 course starting the beginning of the year by claiming the offer which will be recently announced for a limited time only on our facebook and telegram portals thank you for listening and i hope to see you in a future episode